as Monday goes, so goes the rest of the week. So I hope you're punched out of work without crashing any trains. Unless that's your job. I don't know whose job that is to crash a train. Please don't uh, be on none of the trains that I be on and doing your job. A lot of, new, of the news lately has been the same old song. Lots of vaccines going in arms, but new COVID variants making it as important as ever to follow the same safety rules. Fortunately, we've been practicing for a year, so it's not just necessary, it's easy. Sanitize and break, sanitize and break, sanitize and break, sanitize so clean. Ah, what's not so easy, though, is what HQ has lined up for you tonight. Another terrible 12 trivia questions, winnowing the field of contestants until a brilliant few are left on top of the mountain and drinking their sip of glory from the $5,000 cup. Tasty, tasty glory sips. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Or you can always jack up your thrills with a VIP ticket and have a shot at the exclusive $1,500 VIP pot split among only the ticket-holding winners. If we sell 100 tickets, VIP is on like Donkey Kong. But the sales stop at 150, so jump in the big game while it's open, y'all. Right now, we got 60 in it. We only need 40 more players to do a VIP for like the first time in a week. What you gonna do? Get money. All right. And as always, we picked another fantastic charity to feature tonight. The Asian American Legal Defense and Education Fund, protecting and promoting the civil rights of Asian Americans for going on half a century. The fund works with Asian American communities across the country to secure human rights for all by combining litigation, advocacy, education, and organizing. Their efforts include critical issues like immigrant rights, voting rights, economic justice for workers, educational equity, housing and environmental justice, and the elimination of anti-Asian violence, police misconduct, and human trafficking. So HQ is telling you about the Asian American Legal Defense and Education Fund, and we're making a donation, okay? Yes! So if you want to join in the healing, they're at aaldef.org. Boom shakalaka! Look them up and hook them up! Yeah! Right before question number one, HQ's Hall of Trivia is back for a bigger and better season two. And tomorrow is another one. Join my main man, Jeff Eisenband, for sports trivia at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. One hour before the main game. Put that head together for sports stats. And then you use them tomorrow. <laughs> Woo. Then on Wednesday, it's HQ Words as usual. Anna Royceman, my sister from another mister, is going to be in the building seeing who forms the phrases with the flair. That'll be at the same time on the same app in two nights. Waiting for two nights. Oh, when Anna's going to host that game words. Waiting for two nights. Oh, mm, that hurt. Give me the gift of a grip top sock, a clip drape, ship shape, tip top sock. Not just spin slick, slapstick, slip shot sock, but a plastic elastic grip top sock. Juilliard! All right, y'all all set to rev up this Harley and see who can jump all 12 of these buses? Like with anything in life, there's only one way to find out what the future holds, and that's the path forward. So screw your head on tight and jump into the breach. For the next few minutes, it's all about the facts. Master them and you've mastered life. Sure, there's gonna be some emotions and responsibilities and other things, but you can get by on facts. And now, there's nothing to it but to HQ it with question number one. Which of these does a typical modern grand piano have the most of? Black keys, white keys, or pedals? And we're doing VIP! Yes, I like my steak medium rare. All right. Okay, I hope you didn't guess pedals because um, that's wrong. The pianos that have them usually top out at three and only a little musical knowledge should tell you that you, uh, you know, in any 12 key run, it's got seven white for every five black. Yeah, it's 52 to 36 on a grand piano. White keys. 39,677 players got that one right. Oh yes, babies. 
Q1. That's how it's done. Question number two. What you gonna do? Which is not one of the elements pure ice is made of? Hydrogen, nitrogen, or oxygen? Quick, run to the bridge. I don't know, you just run to the fridge, look at the ice cube. Like, ah, ah, wait! What is, what's in it? What is inside you? Mm. I think we need to change the ice trays here. Yeah, that one tastes like Cheez-Its. Why did ice taste like Cheez-Its? Who keeps cheese in the freezer at the HQ office? All right, I'm gonna go pick up some uh, bacon soda. Okay, <laughs> oh, now here's a good tough science question, okay? In order to solve this, you have to remember what ice is. It's freezing water and it doesn't change its recipe of hydrogen and oxygen. No nitrogen needed, so go make some amino acids nitrogen. 36,283 in the place to be. Got it right, baby. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to work. Let's go. Let's go to work. Let's go. Where the money reside. Where the money reside. <laughs> and that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb. Q3. If your NBA mascot is named Hugo, you'd currently be living where? Charlotte, Houston, or Los Angeles. All right, we won't play with you by putting his old address as an answer to, but the trick isn't to match it with the city, but the animal. Hugo is the hornet from Charlotte. Yeah, 30,588, got it right. Orleans was his last city, but he's moved on. Look at Hugo go. Go, Hugo, go, Hugo, go, 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 Hugo. <laughs> Question, Reggie! Did Reggie eat Oprah? <laughs> okay. Question number four. Ah, knocking on your door. You're Elvira Waynes had 10 kids, so you can be forgiven if you lose track of a couple of them. But the five-season WB sitcom, unless there was a cameo we forgot, got it done without Damon. Damon was making tons of movies around that time. We're brothers, we're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Do -do -do -do. Give me a high five. All right, beautiful guys. Cut and print. Damon Wayne, 17,800 of you got it right. 12,000 of you didn't know that Sean was the other brother. That's what? What's my favorite? What? <laughs> you go ahead, Oprah. What? Oprah's the new savage question. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Savage Reggie. Savage Oprah Reggie. Q5 for the children. What aspect of Monopoly is getting a timely update soon? An avenue, a chest, or a tax? Give me a high five. All right. <laughs> Lots of pop culture is adapting to changing times. And one day soon, gamers will not giggle at the beauty contest for old men because they're rewriting the community chess cards. You can vote online for the new cards, y'all. 16,628 players got it right. A chest. Oh, yeah. I'm going to submit one. See if they like it. Question number six. And it goes a little something like this. Which of these U.S. cities is not its state's capital? Austin, Texas, Boston, Massachusetts, or Charleston, South Carolina? Three lovely places to visit with two lovely state houses. But a common mistake when learning the capitals is confusing West Virginia's capital with the largest city in South Carolina. 
Looks like it'd be a good capital, but Columbia's got the job. 14,947 Brainiacs just attacked that one and got it right. Charleston was the answer, babies. Question number seven. An unfertilized bee egg hatches into what? Drone, queen, or worker? I don't know if you guys know this, but insects get it done pretty differently from people. The females lay eggs, and if they want an egg to become a female bee, they need a male to come and fertilize it. Left alone, the egg will become a male or drone. Everybody got that? 13,473 knew what it'd be with the bees. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. <laughs> Goes the bee. Question number eight. Which of these actors was knighted in the UK? Peter Cushing, Peter O'Toole, or Peter Ustinov? These are three heavyweights of stage and screen, but the queen's a busy lady, and not everybody rates a Sir Peter. Out of this batch, only Peter Ustinov grabs a knighthood. Her Majesty must have liked Spartacus more than Star Wars. 10,816. Peter Ustinov, Peter Ustinov. Spartacus! Question number nine. Hope you're feeling fine. In the title, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which word is improperly translated from the French? Leagues Under or Sea? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, it's a rip-roaring adventure. However, it's translated, but 20,000 Leagues is a long trip. Hmm. So as the French title notes, the journey is under les mer, the seas. Hmm. Oh! That's a savage question. Oh. 2,867 players got that one right, babies. Yee-yee. Q10, my friends. Time to get it in. Which of these cheeses is legal to sell in the United States? Blue Day, Gex, Kasumazu, or Pecorino Romano? Jix? Jix. Blé de Jix? Cassu Marzu? Or Pecorino Romano? It's all cheese. It's all cheese. Yeah, it tastes like that ice. Okay. Food purity laws keep Cassu Marzu out of many countries. Mm -hmm. The recipe is disgusting. Mm -hmm. I said it. And uh, U.S. law requires cheese to be from pasteurized milk, unlike Blue de Jex. Uh, but, like Pecorino Romano. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, tasty, tasty mm -hmm. Pecorino Romano. Oh 7,620 players got that right, Pecorino Romano at Q10. We got two more questions to find out who's going to get this money. Honey. Q11. All dogs go to heaven. The Hogwarts House Hufflepuff uses the same two major colors as an NHL team from where? Boston, Colorado, or Los Angeles? Everybody jokes about this house, but they have one of the cooler color schemes. Because behind that badger, you got the same colors as the Bruins from Boston. Also, Pittsburgh, since they're both black and yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow. What if Wiz Khalifa went to Hogwarts? That'd be crazy. He'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late for potions class, man. I was in the back smoking my wand. <laughs> what? Sipping on some Patronus. Get out of here, Wiz Khalifa. He's great. All right. <laughs> Woo! Q12! What's that smell? Which film is widely considered to be a Stanley Kubrick film finished by another director? Artificial Intelligence, Schindler's List, or Eyes Wide Shut? Oh, 
final question of the game with 42 VIPs still in it to win it. Let's see who's about to get some dough. One of these films convinced Kubrick to abandon his own similar film idea, and another was finished by friends after he passed. And after decades of Kubrick's work, Spielberg finished Artificial Intelligence. Eyes wide shut was all Stanley. 6,026 winners of HQ Trivia, baby! Shout out to our VIP winners. Everybody's taking home $42.86. Ah, bye. I'm from Jersey. Hal Briston. My boy Rob Salerno. Eastman 2. Hayden. Ruby Mars. Hefe. Yoshi Yoda. Meow Evil. Uh, Prius. Buckeye's Eye. Dimitri C. Rob. Neatly Done. Uncle Ron. T. Shrake. Wilbert Gilbert. J. Silver. Impossible Bull. One ear you away, knee on the sea, Lily Fran, uh, Saint Ho. Just the name of, see, sometimes they cut off before I finish reading them. Also, sometimes if the name is long, it only shows me some of the letters. That's why I don't say your whole name, but I say what I see. That's your fault for having such a long name. Another superb job by all the winners, but even if you didn't prosper... I hope we gave you some excitement, and you're always welcome to come back for another game. And tomorrow, we got two! Yeah! Like I told you, tomorrow is HQ's Hall of Trivia with my main man, Jeff Eisenband, an hour before the main game. And then on Wednesday, HQ Words with Anna Roisman, slinging the syllables. Do not miss them. You understand? Do you understand? Fantastic. Until next time, it's Matt Richards saying... Old science fiction always shows people talking over computers, right? Like, through technology. But they don't ever really capture the flavor. You know what I'm saying? You never saw Captain Kirk going, Why? Why? No, okay, no, go ahead. Hang on. Your mic's off. Wait. We got to get Zorblax on this call. But his kid had judo today. I'm not a cat. <laughs>